my name is Mr. Chun. You are welcome to my study room. In today's study, we are using Casio FX nine nine one ES Plus second edition to create table from a quadratic function as well as a trigonometric function. So we first start by using the calculator to create table from a quadratic function. But let's take the question first. This is WASI twenty twenty one general mass paper. Question 7 and it says copy and complete a table of values for the relation y equals 4 plus 3x minus 2x squared for the interval negative 4 less or equal to x less or equal to 4 and the table is there they fill part of it and they ask us to complete it with your calculator with you you don't have to do all this calculation again you just have to use the calculator to create a table and fill in the values then you are good to go so that is what we are going to do now we will have to first turn on our calculator so let's turn it on then we go to mode we look for table table is number seven so you press seven on your key then you see that the function is already there f of x equals to then now we are going to enter this relation here into the calculator so y is the same as f of x equal to so we start from 4 you enter 4 plus 3x the x is an alphabet so we use the alpha key you press alpha then x is here the closing parenthesis here so you press this one the closing in a writing in the pink means you need to press the alpha for it to function so i press alpha already i press this you see the s has come then minus 2 s squared so minus 2 alpha x which is the closing parenthesis then i press squared your function must look exactly like the way it's in the question 4 plus 3 x minus 2 s squared then now you press equal to after pressing equal to you have start there start means that the interval where is the interval beginning from that is what is in the question here negative 4 less or equal to x less or equal to 4 so your interval is beginning from negative 4 so you enter negative 4 there you ignore the one when you press equal to it to go away then it's asking where does it end your x values where do they end so it's negative 4 to positive 4 so we enter 4 when you enter 4 the 5 will go away so 4 equal to the 5 is gone now it's a step step simply means the intervals between your x values and as you can see from the table the interval is positive 1 because from negative 4 we went to negative 3 to negative 2 to negative 1 to 0 1 2 3 and 4 that means the interval is 1 so the step is 1 let's enter 1 and then equal to so you can see our table has come with our answers already for negative 4 our y value is negative 40 so you just write it under the negative 4 negative 3 the corresponding y value is negative 23 negative 2 the corresponding is negative 10 but it's already in the table we need to press the cursor down to move the uh, table up so you see that negative 2 is negative 10 which is already there negative 1 is negative 1 0 is 4 which is already there 1 is 5 2 is 2 which is already there 3 is negative 5 and then 4 is negative 16 this is how we complete the table for a quadratic function or relation now let's quickly do that of a trigonometric function quickly and we take a question just like we did for the quadratic one this is wasi 2020 general mass paper question 6 and it says that copy and complete the table of values for the relation y equals 7 cos x minus 3 sin x the interval is down here Using a scale of 2 centimeters to 30 degrees on the x axis and a scale of 2 centimeters to 2 units on the y axis, 
draw a graph of y equals 7 cos x minus 3 sin x for the interval 0 degrees less or equal to x less or equal to 150. But even if they didn't give this one, we we'll still have seen it in the table. So let's see how we'll use our calculator to solve this question. Just for us to familiarize ourselves with the process, I'm going to start all over again. So I'll go to mode 1 for the calculator to be in a simple calculation mode. Then now we start the whole process again. So mode, we look for table, which is number 7. Then our f of x has come. So that is the same as the y. And now we are going to enter this relation into it. y equals 7 cos x. So our y is the same as f of x. So you just enter 7. Then you press cos. Then x. So alpha x which is a close parenthesis then make sure you close the parenthesis so 7 cos x minus 3 sine remember anytime you want to type x you press alpha key then x then you close the parenthesis now so this is our relation 7 cos x minus 3 sine x so you press equal to it's asking where is it starting from the interval is here it's starting from 0 and ending at 150 but we can see from the table too so it's starting from 0 you press 0 equal to 150 equal to then the step is the interval and from here we can see from the table that the interval is 30 because from 0 we went to 30 to 60 to 90 to 120 to 150 so the interval is a step so we enter 30 on the calculator we press equal to and here we have our table with the value so looking from the table the question put our answers to one decimal place so we'll try to run all our answers to to one decimal place you can see that for zero the y value is seven and in the table is 7.0 so for 30 the y value is 4.5621 but you are doing it to one decimal place so to be 4.6 then for 60 it is 0 0.9 for 90 let me just scroll up so for 90 is negative 3 that's why you have that one decimal place so negative 3.0 then 120 is negative 6.098 it will be negative 6.1 and then the last one 150 negative 7.6 so this is how we use the calculator casio fx991 es plus to create a table either for a quadratic function or trigonometric function so the next time you want to plot that graph don't waste your time solving all those functions one by one to get the y value just input it into the calculator fill in the answers and go ahead and construct your graph i hope today's study has been of help to you if yes then kindly consider subscribing to this channel for more videos and hit the notification button so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified don't forget to press mode one to return to the normal calculation mode Thank you for your time with me today. Hope to see you another time. Bye-bye.